Today we're looking at the adjuster tool, a tool that is uh, that offers massive benefits uh, for curved paths and designing in a whole different light on Pyware. I don't know why it took me forever to find this, this tool out, but it is really, really helpful. Let's jump right in. All right, today we're gonna dive a little bit more into the adjuster tool. So uh, I'm gonna show you how I use it for individuals and how I use it for groups of uh, performers. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here on my file uh, so that I can show you these uh, folks here that I want you to focus on. So I'm going to focus in on these guard members here, guard 11 and 14. And what you're going to notice is uh, obviously they cross right through these bass drums on their way to their spot. So uh, there's a couple different ways you can animate their drill to make them have a curved path around. You can use the track tool, select each one, track tool here. You can have them come around and do this and then say curved path and, and you can do that. But one way that I've found that has been really interesting uh, this year, which I really enjoy this tool, is the adjuster tool. I don't know why it took me so long to use it. I know a lot of people use it. And basically, uh, I like it for a couple reasons. One, uh, you can edit pathways simply, and two, you can kind of get everybody done all in one file swoop. So you don't have to keep selecting and using track tool and selecting and animating and that sort of thing. You can just click on the performer um, here and then edit path. Okay, now there's some quirky things about this tool, a couple quirky things. Uh, puts up a hundred handles which you don't need so you want to kind of take away some of these handles in my case I'm taking them all away except one and make it a curved path I'm gonna come out here and curve it around then another quirky thing about it so I want them to come around and that that looks good uh, you have to hit this edit path button again to kind of close that side of the of the uh, window until you and then you can just go on to the next performer and do the same thing, get rid of the handles, and then come out and kind of match that motion on the other side. Looks good. And then you click accept. Okay, so that's one way to animate kind of individual paths. That way they come around, hey, come on down and into their spots, and that should be good. Now another little uh, side tip, uh, I always like to select them, and then there's this fancy schmancy create arrows from paths button. If you select them and then you click the arrow button, boom, you get a nice arrow based on exactly the path that you've animated them, and they have a nice set of arrows to teach from. So that's a great way to use the adjuster tool and the arrow tool to make those curved paths um, simply and easily. Now let's go and look at the adjuster tool because there's another way, to, another nice useful way to use it for groups of people who are moving um, and kind of combining some of these transitions that have curved paths uh, without ruining them or making them back into straight paths. So let's imagine that this group of instruments uh, was a group, a part of a form that you wanted to start a follow the leader move with, say you had 32 counts. Uh, so you could select them, and you could animate them down this. Uh, I'm going to go to one-step resolution here. And you can animate them coming around this curve and ending um, here on uh, the hash. And so it looks good. It looks like they're going to they're gonna animate around correctly. Looks like they take the turn just fine. Everything looks great. Now, where you're halting though, you can tell they're not exactly on the grid and you want them to be. Adjuster tool is a nice way to have them end correctly. So when you go to adjuster tool, you'll notice all their pathways are still animated. Well, you can click on each one and you can just make sure that you go to a one step resolution here and then just kind of place them. As you click them, they'll, they'll kind of snap to the grid and if you notice, look, you can kind of move them and it keeps their follow the leader path 
uh, kind of the same way. So this is kind of a way that I use to clean up and just make sure that when I animate things and I use curved paths that um, even at the end of the move, everything is still on the grid and still makes sense. Then you accept, and that's just cleaned up just a little bit more. So the adjuster tool is a great tool for, um, you know, kind of adjusting all that. Now, what if you wanted to move this whole group? Well, you could select them all, and then click the adjuster tool. And now you've got kind of complete control over everything they're supposed to do. Now, I wouldn't necessarily, um, you know, have a move that I would write like this, where everybody uh, kind of comes around and then goes forward at a, a diagonal. I'd probably make that two separate moves. But it just shows that if you did need to uh, bump a little bit further, or if you did want to just make sure that, um, you know, that the, the performers uh, end in the right place, you can do that without ruining your curved paths. Because if you hit any other tool like push tool, uh, or even if you try to uh, morph the, the form, uh, instantly it puts everything back to straight line paths. So it kind of ruins everything. That's another reason uh, why the adjuster tool is just really handy and is a great thing to use. So I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel if you like these Pyware videos.